Sure, I mean, you, the, the cycle can be pretty long and depending on when you wean kids or if you background them after that, it could be even longer. And, and so, you know, it, every, there's no catch-all set of metrics that I would just say, there are some we would look at that you could look at for every operation, but the key thing that I would focus on would be breaking it down into the smallest unit possible to measure. And, and for example, per cow. And so if I'm looking at metrics per cow, even if I'm looking at working capital, I wouldn't just look at current ratio or working capital, I would look at my working capital per cow. Or if I'm looking at debt service or, uh, you know, from the cow-calf perspective, anything that I'm looking at there, I, you'd want to know, you know, we look, we're good at looking at some production records uh, per cow, but we don't always do that with financial records. And so we may look at weaning percentage, but we don't really look at what are my fixed costs, what's my depreciation, my investment, uh, you know, because those are, can be vastly different. What are your, what are your needs that's got to, you know, owner draws that's got to come out? break it down at the cow level so you can compare that to what you're getting from the revenue side per calf. So break it down, small, small units to, yeah. to the management. Paul or Ted, do you guys want to add anything to that? The... You, you know, one thing, just thinking about the cow-calf sector, and I, um, we, we heard some this morning, and it, it was the, the first session about you know, and even Dr. Larson's comments about, um, you know, what is it that is leaving the cow-calf operation and going to the next level of our industry that's going to uh, the background stalker or the feedlot? And, um, I, you know, when I, when I say what is it, uh, how effective is that animal going to be at performing at the next level? in the environment that it's moving into. And I, I think something that's really important is we think again, and we've talked a lot about the vertical supply chain components of, of sustaining an industry. And I, and I think this is one of the places in, in the beef industry especially that, that folks, we've, we've just got a lot of room for improvement yet. In having calves ready when they leave the initial birth place, moving into our next co-mingled industry how how we prepare them better for that and you know we we had an opportunity a few years ago when we were in the midst of animal identification systems on a national scale i, I think we had an opportunity maybe to get some ways to at least have information flow a little more effectively now that thing didn't go for a whole lot of reasons but i think the the component of that the idea of information flowing with the animals more fluidly, more readily, so the next guy in the chain knows, A, what to do with the animals on arrival based on what's happened to them by the time they got there instead of always doing the same thing to them just because we don't know what happened to them beforehand. I think if there's an opportunity in this industry, it is huge in information technology transfer. I, and I think it starts at the cow-calf level. And, and if there's a place that I think, you know, we talk, I don't know, maybe it's not low-hanging fruit, but it darn sure is valuable fruit. 